Good morning, Pin Fam. How we doing? Good morning to y'all. Needle Girl, 38 months of subbing. Major Bedlam, 18 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go. Toby says, let's go too. I woke him up from the nap. He's not going to get his toy and he will be returning. He is so regimented to my stream. It's like, you can just sit there and chill, little guy. It's okay. I have not bought a new pen all year so far, so I think I need to treat myself today. What's fun but won't break the bank? That's good. That's a good question. I don't know. What are y'all's recommendations? Looking clean and Nordic today? I'm down with that. I could be I could be a Nordic. I could be I could live in the in the Nord region, the Nordic region. <clears throat> Just need to like we need to point the beard a little bit more. And then we can be on uh on what's that show? Vikings? Show Vikings. Craft a simple life. Three months of subbing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you being here. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Pre order the Pelican M200 Orange. True. Be back in about 30 seconds. All right. Someone put a timer on Ferret Fawcett. You're on the clock. Go. Um, fun, inexpensive pen. Uh, Meridu. Meridu with the sneaky giveaway. All right. I was going to give you my, my fun, expensive pen, but. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll go with the giveaway. I love it. Set a podcast. I get a Brad face. Seems like a down, possible downgrade. New stationary Kickstarter. All right. I'm going to put this one up. We'll look at that in just a minute. I have not seen that. All right. Let's do a giveaway. Meridu 7777. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm in a good mood today, chat. And I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Wow, what is this? Let's see what this is. God, I gotta stop slamming those doors. Finished listening to episode 600 this morning, driving the kiddo to school. I have to say that was the most thought-provoking episode I listened to. I literally had to pause to comment out loud on the topics at hand. Oh, thank you, Brooks. Um, that's one of those episodes where we could just have like one question and just riff on it the whole time. Cause like, I'd have to go back and see a lot of that. Like we do that on the fly. Like I don't prep a lot. So like there's some things I'd probably change or something like that. But yeah, I, I like doing, but I like doing that though. That's kind of like the, re I think that's why the podcast works sometimes. So uh, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you, C bro. Um, all right, let's do this giveaway. Um, where's my screen? Let's see if this works first before I do the giveaway. Let's open this up. So we have a Brass Town. This is one of the original. This is might be from the original Kickstarter, and I'm not sure. So navy blue steel. I just want to make sure it's good, good to go. Which I think if I put it in the ice box, it's good to go. Like I think this might be like about ten years old. Um, it feels like an original. I mean, it's even got some of the dust to prove that it's been around a while. This looks like an original Kickstarter type of situation. This is in really good shape. So let's do this brass cell. Let's do this. Yeah, this is uh, this is super, super classic. Yeah, Brooks, like you could probably hack the bot. It seems like once you win, even though you've won before, but when you win again, it seems to like kind of escalate. All right, let's do a giveaway. Reset. We're going to call this... OG Brass Town. I can't remember if we sold even sold this color separately, like after the campaign. I'm sure we did, but this is this is old. All right, let's go. Exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter. Anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You don't have to live in the United States. I ship worldwide. Thank you. You must be present to win. You must be comfortable emailing me your shipping address. Do you want to know what I was going to say? for a fun, inexpensive pen, no bod, because it's sitting here on my desk, which is the reason why I'm thinking about this. So this uh, this does, my, it might have a little like dirty dirt stains on it, but it, like it's not used. It's just, this has lived a long, hard life in storage, I think. So there's definitely some, I don't know that's discoloration and it's probably just like dirt from being in a box or something. Um, so no bods pen um, that I thought, Uni 1R, because this is like a $7 gel ink pen or something stupid. I don't know. Maybe it's like $4. I can't remember, but it's expensive. I love this stupid pen. I use this pen a lot, so um, I don't know what it is um, about it that makes me want to keep grabbing it 
because like it's not the most like it's a slick grip like it doesn't have a like a solid rubber grip um i just like the feel it's got the brat this is the one with the brass weight on it um like on the inside so it's got good balance i don't know you have like three that don't work this one crafts by you so this is a uh, kind of a treat yourself um gel ink pen Suspect Jim, 30 months of seven. Let's go. Let's go. And no bot, if you win, I will send you this pen. Uh, if anyone else wins, I will not send you this pen because this is the only one I have and I really like it. <laughs> and I mean that way. I am mean that way. You feel, okay, interesting. So yeah, I haven't had any, so like I was originally not a huge one refill fan. It's not my favorite Uniball refill, but the .38 in black works for me. Um, some of the other ones, uh, like I prefer the standards, uh, 307s and obviously the DX and RT1 refills more. So Glyph had the same experience. Interesting. Refill sucked. Yeah, I think the ink is different. The ink is obviously different. I mean, that's the point of the pen. But uh, I haven't heard much uh, feedback on like the refills being poopy pants. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, y'all got about 30 seconds left. The feel is nice. Yeah, so the standard ones have like a rubber grip, and this one has a, a non-rubberized grip, but a brass piece in it. Hey, Miss G's. Hope you're doing well today. Are you doing well today, Toby? Fire alarms being tested. Yes, your patience is being tested. Azure Limits, 16 months of seven. Let's go. Thank you so much, Azure Limits. I appreciate you. If I win, I could upgrade from collection of pins sitting on desk. Yes, collection of pins sitting in pin case, right? <clears throat> All right, we ready? Yes, it finished. All right, let's pick a winner. Want to explore. Want to explore. Let's go. Does the Uni One Ball P have the brass insert? Is that the shorter one? I need to double check. They confuse me with these names. Like, I didn't even know this was a different one. I, I found this out on accident. So is the P the short, stubby one? So I don't know offhand. Want to explore. You win the brass town. Yeah, it's the pocket, but it's 650. I would wager so, because that's crazy expensive. <coughs> wow, you are here. You are here. Congrats. Want to explore. You win this. All right. Want to explore. You need to email me. Hello at penaddict.com with your shipping address. And tell me you won the Brass Town. And tell me your Twitch name. Want to explore, please. And I'm probably shipping tomorrow. So no huge rush. Yeah, Seca has them for like 10 bucks, the shorty ones. Yeah, I see, I didn't realize. So I got this one from when I went to Uniball, but I didn't know. Oh, P is pocket. P is pocket, I getcha. Um, you're still sleeping? I don't blame you, but you missed out on a sweet OG Brass Town. Rip you. Um, sleep is good, though. I was sleeping well this morning. I didn't want to get up. I did not want to get up, but the entirety of my house was up. And it was like 6.45. I was like, well, I guess I'll go. <clears throat> the rose gold clip is 10. Jeez Louise. Like, I'm not sure that these are worth it. Except one. One, one. One, one. one. <clears throat> All right, let me set this aside. Oh, look. No, no, that's not it. Never mind. Ignore. Squirrel. Um, let me set this stuff aside. I need space today. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, today, class, um, I had my first pin store order. So yesterday was my first pin order, my Skogsy pin, which I have not inked up yet. 
Uh, that might be in line tomorrow. Um, today, I have a Van S pins order I need to unbox. So this is like review and giveaway stuff. Um, I know for sure one thing that's in there, and I'm already having a blank on what's uh, what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to get out of this box here. But it's a pretty sizable box, so we're gonna have some fun today. <clears throat> Doing a little bit of unboxing. Professor Brad, PhD in penology. Yeah, that seems sketchy. Definitely seems sketchy. So, uh, anything y'all want to discuss before we get into this unboxing? You waited a while. I'm very good at ho I at holding uh, the boxes. I wish I had 50k ink drops. I would love to see that Skogsy inked. Which one? There's two. See, you'd have to have two redemptions. <clears throat> So yeah, I am fortunate enough to have enough boxes roll through the house that um, I'm very good at not ripping things open when they come in the door. Um, I have enough fun stuff to use that can, I can I can wait. <laughs> um, I and it does help. Like I believe me, I do it on purpose to have something to do. Like on stream, I think it's a fun thing um, to do on stream is to do the unboxings. And as I think about this order in a box of this size, I can think of one. I know for a fact one thing that's in there, and I can't remember what else is in there. Okay, two things. Now that I think about it, two things. So, yeah. I didn't get to see the second Skogsy. It's worth showing again, because it's so cute. <laughs> it's a little baby one. Oh, yeah, we need to look at that Kickstarter. That's a good thing. I must rip open box ASAP. So, yeah. So, this is the second one. It's really neat. So, I look forward to giving this a run. Yes, total totes, adorbs. So, yeah. So, that's in the queue. I'm tempted to get a sample of that new Ackerman since Van Ness has it. I think I missed that. I saw that when I went to shop, got distracted, and uh, forgot to add it. So um, let's look at this Kickstarter. Yeah. So this is uh, this could be interesting. I'm, I'm. Let's at least be curious here. Hi. All right. So Memo X get creative with simple made memos. You mean post-it notes? Complete cutting and applying tapes in one motion. Make creative sticky memos with paper of your choice. And Okay, so it's a device. It's not the products. Let's watch the video real quick. Do you decide on an ink color for that short Skogsy pen? I think it hit me this morning, so hold that thought and I'll get back to it. Let's watch this video real quick. Seizure alert. Adjustable size for any occasion. That's pretty funny. So I'm going to get dinged for this song, right? So it's a double-sided tape dispenser. It's literally using these tapes in an automated way to cut. So like Midori, this 
sticky note. Done. Kickstarter. Kickstarter.com. How did the dispenser work? It's on a, uh, it's on a, uh, like a spoke here. And they're refillable. So you can buy just the, uh, the thing. So this is what the tape, uh, this is what the tape will have to be on there. Let's see if we have some images. So this is literally what I'm seeing, which is cool. Like, don't get me wrong. This is cool AF. But I'm just saying, scissors and this. Oh yeah, I don't even know how much it is. So let's see if we can get some internal. Evan Max Pinquisition, 54 months of something. Let's go. Let's see if we can get some internals here. So I'm gonna give me a. Oh, I could show you all this. Give me a second while I scroll through this. I want to see if I can see the wheel on the inside. Okay, so right here. So up top. So this part here. So you can see the parts involved here, right? So it's taking something that's refillable, right? Because you're gonna have to refill the tape. This is a legit good idea though. Like I, I'm, I'm in on this, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. 69 bucks. I mean, that seems right. Like, I wonder if it's a standard part you can buy elsewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So you got to look how many tape rolls you have to have, right? Like you're going to go, you can go through a lot if you're making a lot of these sheets. I think it's cool though. Uh, I mean, and they have dogs. I mean, hello. <clears throat> but a paper cutter and a tape dispenser, not even that. It's literally just scissors. Yeah, like you don't even need a paper cutter. Like this is my Midori block, like that I keep at my desk. I mean, this is, I mean, this is expensive, right? But I could just cut any paper. This is literally what they just made was this sheet with these two two things. <clears throat> so, cool. Like, if you're doing a lot of, like, <coughs> either very, like, note active where you need, like, a lot of post-its, like, for, like, work or writing or science or math or something, you needed that, or you're very crafty and needed a lot of cut and sticky type of stuff in different shapes and sizes, cool. Like... But, like, I literally solved my own problem here in two seconds. <clears throat> I do kind of like it, though. I, I am not going to back this one. So I did the other day. Um, we were going to talk about it on yesterday's episode. Um, but we obviously had plenty of other stuff to talk about. Um, but I did back two of the three Kickstarters we talked about last week. Uh Toga, I like it, but I don't have enough of use for it. Exactly. Like, I literally have no sticky notes anywhere around here. How much is it to back? $69 for the base with, like, one or two rolls. <clears throat> so, $69 for, base. The, I think, the starter kit. Good catch, Brad. Let's go. We are on our game today. But for writers, it might be good. That's what I was thinking, uh, Malahandrelu. I was thinking like uh, for like if you're a writer um, that uses like has boards, right, and does that type of thing. I'm in. Hydrate. I need it. Um, so what I was gonna say, I backed two of the three Kickstarters. Um, I backed the Inso um, retractable pen, and I backed the Namisu Shorty. As soon as they did the um, um, Ultim and Clipless, right? You could go Kanban crazy. Yeah, if you like have like the Kanban systems, like physical systems, that, that, would, be, uh, that would be an easy purchase. So I'm going to get the Clipless Ultim 
Namisu. And then I went to back the Big Eye Design, but they had limited the uh, amount of pins. So the only option left was two was to buy two pins. Um, and they're only $25 more after the campaign. So I didn't need two. But um, after the campaign, they're going to go from 150 to 175 which is not that big of a stretch. So I wasn't, I didn't need to buy two. Like I'll buy two of things like to give away and like that would be a great members giveaway like later this year when it came in. I just didn't feel like dropping, I buying those two and then dropping $300 for two pins I'm not going to get till later in the year when I'm about to go to the LA Pin Show. Otherwise I probably would have done it. Um, annoying but for a Kickstarter to cap itself so they don't get overwhelmed, I expect that. I do too. Like I have no issue with that. Plus when I looked... There was only um, like 100 hours left in the campaign. So let me, I know I'm not on the screen right now. I hope that ends so we'll offer clips. Uh, let me see. Hang on one second. Let me see if that big guy design campaign's over. Let me see. It always takes me a minute to find their stuff because it's under their names, not under the um, Big Eye Design name. Okay, so it finished. So this one finished. So I didn't... <laughs> Thank you, Lilium. I was going to go there. Waiting for my Ajoto paper to ship. Me too, Boss Baker Chris. We must have gotten the number one pack that they had a delay on is all I can think of, right? Is that what it is? The number one paper has a delay. So there's a number one, a number two, and a number three, and the packs of number one were delayed by like a week, so I think it's gonna ship too. Um, so this was, this one was the only option left. Well, I was gonna go back it, and this one sold out. So, so limited quantity, none left. Like, I'm totally down with that. So yeah. No big deal. And then, um, they're only going to be a little bit more expensive down. It's not like, I don't buy, do the Kickstarters to like save money, but that's a pretty easy de decision that it's going to be such a small increase, um, to the campaign, to the, to the product. So anyway, ooh, sticky. <clears throat> Everybody asks why clip, never how clip, right? Poor clip. So, yeah, that's where I'm at on Kickstarters. I do like that post-it one. I don't need that one, so I'm not going to back that one. I could see that. I'm surprised something like that doesn't already exist, like on the Japanese market. That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat the way they did the, the tape mechanism. In the cutting. I don't know. The more I think about that product, it's pretty cool. I just don't need it. Like, that's not worth... I, I don't want to spend, you know, probably... Probably about 85, 90 bucks by the time it ships. Um, I, I, I don't... I wouldn't, I wouldn't get that much use out of it. Says the guy who almost bought two pins for $300 and didn't really question it. So, <laughs> whatever. All right. <coughs> Good stuff. Good stuff, y'all. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's get this box going, right? I think. Time to unbox. Everyone seems to not really have issues with the silicone in the inso. I think that's the only question, to be honest. I think everyone, I think a lot of people do have issues with it, but are willing to take a chance and go, eh, didn't work. <laughs> that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. Like, I do think it could be an issue. But that's something that's like perfectly, I'm perfectly willing to risk that chance for that one. Was it 89 bucks? I mean, it's expensive, but it'll either work brilliantly or failed brilliantly. 
I miss what we're miss what what were we talking about? So what we're talking about now, I didn't have actually have it pulled up. Is the Enso Bolt? What's it called? The um, the retractable fountain pen. Oh, the reviewers who have it already. Um, I didn't watch David's video. That's all I've seen. Uh, speaking of David, I'm interviewing David for next week's podcast. Y'all have any fig boot questions? I'm interviewing Fig Boot tonight for next week's episode because Mike's going to be out of town. Oh, the tape dispenser paper cutter thing. Let's see if I still have the link. So we don't have to go back and chase it. I do not. Did you watch his video on the Pin Maker War Game? No, but that's what I'm going to ever do. Um, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. This at my afternoon is spent watching Fig Boot videos. Will Fig Boot ever do a sale like their personal collection? Where does the Fig Boot name come from? We gave we I've inter this is the second time he's done it. Episode like three sixty seven. We discussed the name origin. It was like from a movie or something, right? Did you order the Frank and Christoph Philly Pin Show ink? No. I just haven't felt like just ordering the ink. From a book? Okay, Borkman Bork. Yeah, I knew it was something. So, yeah. <clears throat> Can you compare the short side to... Short side click to the regular? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Icefall. Yeah. They asked me if I wanted to review it. I, I never answered. Um, so compare short slide click to the regular. Let me go see if I have them. What say yes for you? <laughs> so that's how I go. That's how I roll. I have a lot of opportunities. I don't take everything unless I'm for sure going to do something with it. I was, I'm thinking about getting it and sending it to Jeff. Do I have a regular? I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, which ones do I have to compare, and do I have them all? I'll have to go grab them. I think I did I think I did it both, Naper Villain, but I'm certain I did it here because it was show and tell, and I had the little case out that had them all in there. Ask him how many pins he owns. I'll put that on my sticky note. Glyph, can I do that comparison tomorrow? Or do it at the end today if we have time? So I'm going to do this Van S thing now. And then we'll see either have time tomorrow. We'll definitely have time tomorrow. Um, well, that, that double-sided sticky tape is very sticky. <clears throat> Um, that, I do have a question down related to that, uh, Andrew. I can do it tomorrow, or I can do it, uh, we'll either do it at the end of this show, but it's probably looking like tomorrow at this point. Does he carry insurance for a collection? See, I don't think he owns, he doesn't keep, all these pens aren't his pens, right? These stuff are, this stuff is on loan. I like all the expensive stuff. So, like, I don't expect, it's not like he's got all the Game of Thrones pens sitting around. Right? Um, okay, let's open the box. What's in the box, Brad? I know. Um, anyway, here's Wonderwall. So, Icefall. It's really sharp. <laughs> Ask David who his dream interview guest is. I know one of them. <laughs> Yeah, those Damascus clip ones are sick. All right, that looks good. I like it. <coughs> All right. Yeah, I think the Damascus clip is like a 
80 90 dollar upgrade something like that all right let's get into the box let me see I kind of want to go into this. All right. So we're just going to reach in and see his dream interview. He gave me a lot of grief about that. Okay, so it's public knowledge. <laughs> All right. Let's All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, dang, this is big. Yeah, it's not, it would not be a stretch to guess. It's been years worth of tri trial and fail. All right. Something fell. All right, first up. So, you know I like pen storage. So, all this stuff's at Van S Pens. Um, and I did get a discount on purchasing a lot of this stuff. So, most of this stuff I bought was for review. So, I was just going through the site, seeing what new and interesting stuff they had. You know I love the pen storage, pen storage block. So, this is pin holder cover walnut the pin block it's sizable <laughs> interesting packaging <laughs> so Walden woodworkers in Istanbul walnut um, what do we got one two three four five fifteen and ink bottle so yeah I don't know if this is new or what but this stuff usually isn't in stock. Like, I don't think they carry a lot of them or maybe don't make a lot of them. So I just, um, when I saw it, I went ahead and grabbed it. So let's see what it fits here. So here's a Twisby Eco. Yeah, this stuff fits easily. I don't have any super wide pins to test, but it looks like it'll fit anything. Um, this looks like it'll fit like Robert Oster. Um, it's not that big. Uh, an inch, almost an inch and three quarters, more like an inch and two thirds. About an inch and two thirds. <laughs> Kasama Una, would it fit a Kasama Una? So, I don't think it gets all the way to the bottom, right? You can see, like, it, it's keeping it up. But it fits that much of it. That's the depth, so pretty well. Does it fit the King Tut? Probably not. But it's not going to go all the way down. So, definitely fits there. So, the interesting is probably the Canalea. Yeah, this should fit, I'm guessing. Similar. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing. Like, it fits the the bottom, but it's not going to fit the whole thing. So, yeah. Some of the wider pens, it does, uh, it doesn't go as deep. So, this will be cool. Like... What do I have on my desk? I have two nine slot pen cubes on my desk. <clears throat> so would this be a good desk accessory? I don't know. But like this will be 
fun to review or something like that. It's really nice. How much is this? Well, now I'm ruining what I have in here. Galen. Oh, dang. It's only $38. It's only 38 bucks. That's a, that's a, that's pretty nice. Is it weighted? No, but it's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, that's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good price. Yeah, this is what I have on my desk right now. So I have two of these on my desk right now. Is it heavy enough to crack someone's skull? Totally. So yeah. So I could cut down to one of these, but I wouldn't keep the ink bottle in it, so we'll see. I've lost count on the pen holders on my desk. Well, when you can make your own, it's pretty easy to get out of hand. Yeah, no bod, that's what uh, Evan is doing. All right, so we got that. Um, all right, what's next? What's this? New translucent cocoonos. These are cool. Clear aqua, medium point. So I think they just did the, um, I think this is just like this year's colors. They're not that much different from the previous ones. This one has regular smiley face. So it has each of the smiles on the thing. So this is this clear green one. I kinda, did I get this one? This one looks the silliest. Is that the baby? Yeah, it's the baby. that what else finally got the Heimdall which I've has been on my shopping list the ball gag I want the mustache one to name it Ted so this is the orange ink that I've been wanting it's been out of stock at most places for a while So tomorrow we're going to do ink testing, but this is just a nice, nice orange. What pen is that? That is the Pilot Kakuno, which is a really good entry-level fountain pen. They're really nice. They're really fun. They're whimsical. So we can't really see much here today. Rattler Gen, 30 months of subbing. Let's go. So we're going to do ink sampling tomorrow because I got more than this ink in here so this will be this is gonna be a good color i'm looking forward to this one i mean it's pretty much like every other orange i have but like i'm not even not even worried whoops hey i like your parka good morning to you so yeah this will be a good one looks like it's got a good range range of oranges hopefully it shades as well as like some of the pictures show That, 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 that. All right, let's see what else. This stream is so dangerous. Yeah. Oh, throwing things around. Ooh, Frankenstein. Mary Shelley Frankenstein. Big wearing old fan here. So uh, this is a sparkly purpley one. Again, we'll test this out tomorrow. Would you like a sample vial of the agave we mentioned yesterday? I would not. I appreciate that. <laughs> I tend not to accept sample vials because then I have 500 sample vials that I never use. <laughs> so this is a sparkly purple, purple green sparkle. But thanks you, thank you, Brooks. Um, and plus, I need to check if I still have it. I technically could still have it. Um, I just haven't. I don't think I do. Um, so yeah, this will be fun to test. This is like a good review ink. Um, you can see the shimmer in here floating around. So that's cool. Talking of Pilot about a Synergy Point 5. The clip looks like that of a Lamy logo pen. Interesting. I think I've seen the Synergy. Oh, yeah. I forgot I, I could do Dracula and Franklin, Frankenstein. 
Uh, this one's just Frankenstein. It says Mary Shelley Frankenstein. <coughs> Excuse me. Throat's a little dry today. Line art postcard arrived yesterday, and the only casualty was the address. Interesting. They do book titles. Yeah, so I guess it's the official title. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think this is the thing I wanted the most. I think this is the... Uh, I've been wanting this for years. This is not a new thing. But they never have it in stock. I'm pretty excited about this. So it's a washi tape uh, dispenser. This is sick. They never have this in stock. I gotta figure out where the openings are, but it's basically um, for your washi tapes. <clears throat> Boop. Look at that. Oh, I have questionable washi tape. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <clears throat> um, this is pretty inexpensive too. 27 bucks. This thing's pretty great. So yeah. Oh yeah. It says lots of things. <laughs> That's the best one. Balls. So I think I have it backwards. So yeah, I'll deal with this later. But yes, I was most excited about this because I actually need this or want this. Need, want, questionable. So yeah, I'm all about that. I'm not even putting this back in the box because I'm, I'm totally going to use that. <clears throat> oh, I mean, even though I'm not a sheening ink person, if you call an ink unicorn, I'm probably going to just buy it and test. We'll probably send this for someone to review. So Octopus uh, Fluids did some sheening inks. Sky blue, pink sheen. This could go in the Skogsy pen. Let's see one of the Skogsy pens so it's a real bright blue um it should sheen we'll do these we'll do these ink tests tomorrow probably dumb thought would it be better have a smaller diameter dowel to reduce chance of washi roll being too small in diameter to fit it's pretty thick i don't know we'll have to see if i have run into that issue where i have uh, too small of a, a tape so it's pretty, pretty close, right? So I'm sure there was a, a, lots of science and math involved in, in getting the correct size. <laughs> so we'll try out this unicorn ink and see. I don't know. Like I said, I don't normally do super sheeners, but if it's called unicorn, I'm probably going to try it. Right? Uh, related unicorns and dragons it doesn't take much to tempt me so the color verse year of the dragon inks come in standard which is the sheening version and then they have two different shimmer ink versions I got just got the basic one I didn't get the shimmer ones because I already got the Frankenstein shimmer I don't need all the shimmer let's see if I can not destroy this Wow, that was loud. So it's just the little, these, what, 15 milliliter bottles? Yeah, 15 milliliter bottles. <clears throat> so little tiny baby bottles. 
So again, we'll test this later. You can't really see anything here. So this one should just be like a blue with a sheen. And uh, so silver, gold, and blue shimmer. So yeah, there's different options. So you can buy, what, like four different ones. So this is the standard and then three different shimmers. Silver shimmer, gold shimmer, blue shimmer. Thank you. Yeah, because they have all this, they make it hard not to tear because they have all these little contraptions in here to hold the bottle, which is kind of cool. I'm in on that. Are those bottles annoying to use as the Diamine 30 millimeter bottles? I mean, I would only use a syringe with it, so that counts as annoying. Yes. Aren't the mini bottles only five milliliters? No, 15. Yeah, you need um, you need a syringe, like syringe required, pretty much. Oh look, a second one. I wonder what that means. Who knows? Y'all just gonna have to wait till I clean off my desk. Ooh, another Kakuna. Oh, did I get the pink one? What did I get? Clear pink. So that's the bow tie. So I got a fine and a medium. They do have five millimeter mini bottles. Nice. I don't think I've ever seen those or ever owned any of those. So I got a couple Kakunos just to play around with. Those are always good giveaway items. What else? <clears throat> oh yeah, I did the thing chat. I wasn't sure if I was gonna do this. But I think this is the best color. This is my favorite color. I just really wanted to see this. I'm almost certain I'm gonna send this to Jeff to review. Feels good. Yeah, I like the clip. White was best, white was worst. Although I can't remember all the colors. <laughs> I did not like the white one. I think the white one was, I think a lot of, uh, the white one was pretty cool, it just wasn't for me. That looks good. Cool. Brown was best. Want to fight? No. I'd lose, probably. <laughs> cool. That looks good. White was the funkiest. That I agree with, which also makes it probably like the best one to choose, I think, as well. Like, I think white might have been the most popular. Also the coolest. But um, not for me. All right, there are more, yeah. Oh, oh, this is good. I've been wanting this. Is that how small the standard Kaveco is or is this one extra small? That's how small they are. This is the extra, extra firm chat. So we got these. I haven't bought any black wings in a while but y'all told me these were extra, extra firm. So I needed to test that. These I'm for sure reviewing. Which white one, the all white one or the one with the confetti in it? Oh, that's true, there were two white ones. So there's like a silvery white one and then there's one with like a blue and tan one. I was thinking the blue and tan one, not the all white one. So I was thinking the blue and tan one, uh, blue, tan and white one. I don't like this eraser color. So these glow in the dark, which I'll go on record. I've already been on record. That's dumb because I'm not going to write in the dark.
right? I don't like the eraser color though. But I bought them for the core. I bought these for the core. I do have some other erasers. Oh, it's it's cool if I want to go like turn off the light in the bedroom and like have a dance party or something. All right, so volume two, the light and dark pencil. In 1973, art found itself at the forefront of a cultural shift. I'm not going to read all this. Words, words, words. Bob Marley's Natty Dread. Words, Leonard Cohen. Art creates cracks in the world's darkest places, letting in the light of knowledge. All right, there we go. We got there, chat. We got there, chat. What's the, uh, what was the dance party in, in Severance called? MDE? Music Dance Experience. Music Dance Experience. This is the Music Dance Experience pencil. This looks like the Severance pencil. It's the, the, I, I like how it looks. It looks sick. Do you have a recommended brand for lead holder mechanical pencils? I do. They're expensive, though. <laughs> You're asking the wrong person because I do have a very particular favorite. Karen Dash Fix Pencil is my favorite. So this is the, like the non-technical, the non-engineering like engineering style clutch. So they have a 2 millimeter lead, then they have a 3 millimeter lead. This is far and away my favorite, but I'm someone who likes this pencil shape. You can get like the Statler engineering ones, like the drafting ones, and then you need to get like a tip pointer with that. And you can get, these are like, the basic ones are like 25 ish dollars. And like the normal engineering ones are probably like 10, like the Staler ones. This is my personal favorite. You just had that on your desk, but didn't have the tactile turns, facts. I like this way more. This is like in the grand scheme of all of Brad's writing instruments, this is probably a top 10 writing instrument. And that might be too low. That's how important this pencil is to me and how much I enjoy it and how good I think it is. So yes, <laughs> it's, I don't, I don't feel like it's a bold claim at all. Like if I'm building a kit of all the things I want, that one's making any kit that I build for a fact. One of my favorite products ever made. The two millimeter, preferably, instead of three. All right, so we'll sharpen up one of these in a in a minute. I, I'm really kind of anxious, but I don't know if I have all the other ones here. What's the use case? The use case is that you can use it for anything, is the use case. So it travels a lot with me uh, because it has a self-sharpener in the, in the cap. Um, it's just a great pick up and write pencil, drawing, sketching. It is really easy to use quickly and enjoyable. <clears throat> yeah, they're, are they a hundred? They're not, I don't know if they're a hundred years old, that style. It's close. Did they have a hundredth anniversary on that pencil? We're not done yet, Mimo. I think there's at least one. The one thing that I knew was in this box, I still haven't cracked out yet, but I think it might be the last thing in here. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. All right, last thing. One more thing. Um, this is what I remembered I ordered because I, wasn't, I said I wasn't going to order it, and I didn't order it for me. Um, I ordered it. I'm going to send this to Jeff needed a restock of review items. So this is the black uh, 580. <clears throat> that new kind of matte black. It looks sick. Like I know I was dogging it the other day. It was like, but I wasn't dogging it because it doesn't look cool. I was dogging it because I wanted this like two years ago. That's all. Oh, if you like the Karen Dash stuff, the fixed pencil stuff, don't buy the um, don't buy the Nespresso ones. Especially the ones with the Nespresso leads; those are horrible. Is my internet stuttering? Or is it Twitch? Uh, probably you. My setup looks good right now. What's in the Kaveco box? It is the 
Art Sport Blue. So I kind of wanted to see this in person, although the, the pictures did it good. Great knife too, that is a good knife. I'll, I'll open this just a second, but this is that Black Matte 580. So many hidden stickers on the Twisbees. The Haberly is not an Nespresso collab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, just in general, if you think those Nespresso ones are cool, the lead is terrible in them. And then actually the grip section on one of them is really rigid and it's not comfortable. I'm being slightly careful just because I'm going to send this to Jeff. This looks really good. This looks really good. Art Sport, at that price point, does it come with the premium steel nib? It does not. Ah, this looks really good. They did a good job on this one. I just want to put this out there and make it public knowledge that I've met some of the nicest people in this stream that I've ever met on Twitch. Thank you, Ferret Fawcett. That actually means a lot that this is the community vibe you get from here. We really do try to take care of each other, for sure. Is a lead holder style pencil ever in the works for Splo Spoke? Spoke. Uh, yes, we have clutch mechanisms we're experimenting with, um, but not yet. We would like to because I'm such a fan of that model. Um, but like anything, it takes forever, right? Um, like that's something we're actively working on that might not even be a consideration for this year. Like that's where we're at. Like remember the retractable pins I showed you <laughs> and we might get those before, uh, the holidays, Lamau, <laughs> Lamau, <laughs> remember that chat? Hey, we might have these for the holidays, Lamau. So yeah. That's pretty much where we're at. Lomal. So, that looks great. That's, like, if you're into this, and I know some of you aren't, which is good, too, this looks sick. Like, I'm very down with that. I, I like, I, it's not something I need or want or desire, but, man, that's sick. All right, that was this haul. Again, I'm the most excited about my washi tape holder. which I just find totally hilarious. Okay. Let's find the mute button, chat. Sorry about that. So yeah, that's cool. I'll show you the uh, Kaveco again because I've had a couple, y'all have had a couple questions about it. Um, and then I'm going to sharpen up this black wing. We'll do a quick test. What size clutch pencil lead? Only twos. I like twos. Threes seem to be the, the popular one now, though. I'm a two. Did you see Yo Seca is having an event in August on the site? I did not. I got invited to an August event last year. I'll have to go look at this one and, and see if I make, can maybe make a trip this year. Yeah, the three the three seems to be the popular one again. Um, I think Karen Dash has a Japan exclusive .5 pencil. If you find a, find a link... For that Acra 2, I would like to see that. Yeah, shocker. I know. So this is the art sport again. So the two questions were: one, is this the normal size sport? Yes. So and it looks small. It's it's literally how the uh, you'd come to NYC a month after we move. I mean, <laughs> things happen for a reason, right, Glyph? <laughs> Sorry, I was too loud. You got ignored. You just said we were nice and then we ignored you. What's up with that, Ferret Fawcett? Oh my God. So yes, this is the traditional size of a Kaveco Sport. It probably looks smaller because the black kind of camouflages like some of the size. And then the second question is at that price point, which is what, 125, 115? 125. Does it come with the premium nib? 
lol. Why would they put in a premium nib when they can sell you a $35 premium nib? Please. <laughs> but no, I'm with you. It's, it's like, yes, it should come with. Why don't we just go full premium with the package and charge me $140? Well, it's because they want they want to charge you. They want to charge you more, chat. So there you go. Does that hold more than three drops of ink? It does. It holds a full short ink cartridge. So more than greater than three drops of ink contained within. So like at least four drops, at least four drops. Hey everyone, I didn't pick up the brand of that 2.0 mechanical pencil. Yes, uh, Burt Cow. That is a Karen Dash Fix Pencil. F I X P E N C I L. So that's an older limited edition one I bought. They have standard ones now. Um, but just look up uh, Fix Pencil. F I X P E. All one word. Fix Pencil. And the Karen Dash model will come up. And they they do like a new one every year. Like the the, the last couple years have been boring. Uh, they've done just like black ones with colored end caps and mostly only point, uh, mostly three millimeter leads instead of twos. Um, but mine are uh, different. So. All right. So there we go. All right. So let's do a giveaway. So I bought two of these for a reason. I'm going to give you all one of them. Um, so let me scooch this stuff out the way so I can get to my keyboard. Where am I gonna put this now? Man, I don't have room. We need to rearrange the desk just for the washi tape holder. I'll work on that in a minute. All right, so let's see. Bloppity blippity. Sorry, I'm just considering not everything goes back to the same spot. That's for me. That's for me. That's for me. And then everything else can go. Let me find a picture of this for y'all <laughs> while I give it away. Desk mat, crap party time, excellent. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, if y'all haven't seen it, I know I always share my uh, giveaway links. A lot of y'all probably have, but I am giving away um, these this set of flax pen to paper inks so from Troublemaker. So Momomochi, Sage Green, and Into the Depths. It's a three pack of inks um, that one person will win. So go do that. All right, what was I doing here? I was gonna find. All right, so that's what I'm give, about to give away here in just a second. All right, if y'all wanna see the one that I'm about to give away here. That's it. All right, let me do this. So this is the standard one without the shimmer, but I think it is sheeny. So this giveaway is open, exclamation point raffle. So it's a 15 milliliter bottle, so it's a small bottle. You probably do need a syringe to fill, um, but it's fun. It's fun, colorful ink, and uh, one of y'all will win it. I'm concerned where I'm gonna put this washi tape holder now. All right, what did I say I was gonna do, chat? <clears throat> Besides sharpen this pencil. 
Yeah. I thought I said something else. I can't remember. What do I have here? So I have a, I think that's a 602 core. And that's an extra firm core. That's all I have here. Compare the tactile turn pins. Yeah, let me go. Let me go grab those real quick uh, while this giveaway is running. I still got time, so yes, I will go grab that. Does the washi tape holder have keyholes in the base so you can hang it on the wall? It does not. It does not. All right, be right back. in just a second. All right, you got about 10 seconds left. So the pencil sharpener is the Uni KH20. It needs more stickers. Or Mitsubishi KH20 is probably after you have to look at it. Blackwing white one is balanced, 602 is firm. Yeah, but this particular six, I, and I don't know if you're talking to me, but this is um, uh, volume 42. Is that one balanced? It's not the regular pearl phone. I'm actually expecting a delivery today. Okay, so this is balanced, extra firm, double X. Okay, thank you for the confirmation. So then I don't have a 602 in here, which I was hoping I had. You meant the volume 20. Okay, yeah, perfect, perfect. That's why, that's why I was just making sure because the regular white one, the pearl, I'm uh, just making sure we we're talking, you saw that this was this one. Perfect, that's exactly what I needed. I should have grabbed the 602 while I was up, but I didn't. That would have been smart. Now I'm gonna have to go get a 602 because I was thinking it was 602. Booty. Okay. All right, this giveaway is up. Let's pick a winner, y'all ready? Tomorrow we'll test out this ink. Uh, myself, we'll do some swatches. Let's pick a winner. Craft a simple life. Craft a simple life, you win. Is this your first win? First time winner? First time winner, first time winner, maybe. First win, nice, nice. So, I thought she summoned it. I was I was actually scrolling back through the chat. I was like, I'm pretty sure they summoned it. Um, yeah, really cool. So here's what you do. Um, type exclamation point and giveaway in the chat. Someone's gonna hit that. Oh, or winner, sorry. Rewizzles did it, winner. Um, you're gonna email me, hello at pinatic.com with your shipping address. You're also going to tell me your Twitch handle, Craft a Simple Life, and you're going to tell me you won the Dragon Ink or something related because I need to keep all of these things in check. So congratulations. Awesome. And I will, um, I'll probably ship this tomorrow, so no huge roughs, rush.
Man, I'm so excited about this, but now I don't know where to put it. And I shouldn't have, uh, shouldn't have pulled this off earlier. Okay, got it. All right. So we'll do tactile turn now because I think I might be missing one of the pins. Uh, Glyph, are you still here by chance? Because I don't think I have all the ones that you want, or do I? So that's the mini. What size is that one? And then that's all, then the other one's the bolt. That's the full size one. What's up, Connor? Oh yeah, we have the uh, we have the days all messed up this week. We had a little switcheroo. So yeah, this one fits the G two refill. This one fits the like the Schmidt uh, nine thousand. Um like the Parker style refill and this one fits the G2 mini. So that's all I have to compare um, for the tactile turns. So I really like this one. This one fits the, uh, I have myself confused. So this has my, the jet stream refill in here. So the middle one is called the short. That's where I get all the names confused. And then the 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 tiny one is called the mini, right? So standard short and mini. This is a GT. See, I got Lando number four on it. So this is the GT. But you could pick when you order it. You could pick. So this one's the short. Yes. Yeah, see, I'm sorry. I get the names confused. So this one fits the Parker style refills. This is the best size, but you just gotta like, it's like, you know, you're a little bit limited on your refills, right? So yeah, this is the GT. I don't have a regular, I guess. What's this one called, standard? So is this what you were looking for? I think this is the best size. That's the old style boat bolt. Gotcha. Okay. Slim bolt. Yeah, I don't think I have one of those. I don't think I have one of those. Mike says that of the Parker style refills, a certain Jetstream XR is the best. So what we sell with the uh, the roadie. So it's the SXR sixty oh seven. Trailhead is a slim bolt. Yeah, so this fits the G two mini refill. So that's the G two mini refill. The Jets changed change my friend's mind about ballpoint sucking, right? So good. I just wish the blue, I wish I could get blue in it. It's my only hang up. So yeah, there we go. Boom. Are the G2 minis easy to get a hold of? Yeah, they're reason they're reasonably accessible. Like Jet Pins has them. I'm pretty sure. Am I getting the ice fall? I can't decide. So they've offered me the ice fall. And I don't take things unless I can be sure that I like I'm going to review it for the short is there a gel ink refill you like for it if you like needle tips like I don't know how that would look with a needle tip the Oto flash dry is awesome but it's a needle so it's an aesthetic thing right as opposed to the conical tip so Someone was asking about the Johto Ebonite. Yeah, so I have this one. Whew, I haven't used that one in a while.
This is a crazy pin. Like this is just, I don't, I don't know, this pin's just wild to me. It's so light and it's crazy expensive. Like super hard to make, thin, ebonite. Pretty cool. Um, okay, so I did I do okay, Glyph? Was that kind of what you needed? Wisdom of the crowds here, got what you were looking for. Very interested in that display case. So this was a guy at the Atlanta Pen Show that was selling these. Um, I don't know if he's Bama. What was his name? Um, I don't think he makes them. I haven't seen him there in years. But he had a website. If you had a Slim Bolt, yeah. Yeah, this is all I have. I think I might have had a Slim Bolt that I gave away, honestly. I just love the Ejoto pens, yeah. Actually, I had the... This was spaced out because I had my uh, I had another one here of my black one. That's the one I've been using. All right, um, let me test these pencils real quick, and then we're probably gonna have to wrap it. Let me go get a six hundred two real fast. I'm really thinking I have one close by, but I don't see it. All right, be right back. I'm gonna grab a six hundred two. find it right offhand yeah the black ajoto that's actually the one i've been using the most here recently all right let's see i had to bring the bring the box in here uh, get them all just the pearl the mmx is uh so what was so that's a volume three that's the library i think the library one was it's the 811 a 602 core 56 16 one of these has to be a 602 i think the 16.2 is Ajotos are like heroin. I love the Ajotos. One of these has to be a 602. Bruce Lee. I just don't have an actual 602 in here, which is weird. Which one of these is a 602? I think... I think the 16... I'm going to vote. That one or this one? Let's see. You think Bruce Lee is? All right. We just need to verify. <clears throat> then we have everything else we need. Bruce Lee is extra firm. Eight eleven is okay, so that's a six oh two. So 
so then we have so which one's softer of the pearl and the matte pearl so it should be if we do this sorry chat this softest the hardest do i have this correct pearl's the softest Matt is the softest. So this should be the order. All right. Did y'all love this chat? So Matt, Pearl, 602. Oh, wait, do I have two extra firms? Or is this? So we can take this one out. So do I have this right now? Sorry. Is that right? Matt Pearl. Matt Pearl, 602, extra firm, double X. Okay, I got it right now. Got it right now. Okay, Whew. that was stressful, chat. That was stressful. All right, let me sharpen these up. Oh no. I think this fell and got broke. Oh, it still works. I don't think it used to be that bent though. Do these make good first pencils? They make great first pencils, but you should, like you do have, to, these, these are all different cores, like as far as firmness. So it just depends on if you like a softer or a darker, or a softer or a firmer core. So these are the five different cores now. Only other core out there is the extra soft lab. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, these are great first pencils. I'd probably start with the 602. So do they call 602 balanced? I can't help but call it 602. Hardcore is always the best. That's why we got this one. 602 is firm. Does that need to... Now I'm confused. Do I need to add in a pencil here? Or it just goes... That's just right in the middle now. I have it right, okay. I feel like I'm missing one is all. Like, I keep... Sorry. Sorry, shaky cam, shaky cam, shaky cam. I just, it's the terminology that gets me more than anything. Okay. Whew. Stress. All right, let's use the Studio Neat tote book for this. Cause that's a pretty, that should be a good pencil -y. It should be a good pencil-y paper. I haven't played more dead ball yet. I need to do that. That might be this weekend. Need five. Okay. Overthinking? You shush, Kim. You shush. Ooh, we can also figure out what eraser we can put in this poopy one. What's up with this eraser? Why not a blue eraser? All right. Got to get to game seven. Not if it ends in four. We're already, Braves are already up 1-0. All right. I want a... Where is... Oh, sorry. So I'm, sorry. I'm over here on the Blackwing site. I want an official core chart here. So soft, balanced. Okay, so the first one's called soft. You don't know what I'm doing now because I'm a maniacal. I very much dislike that color. <laughs> I have a joke now, but it, it's like I, I'm gonna have to just I'm gonna have to bot myself. The bot caught me on that one. Glow is it a glow in the dark eraser? No way. All right, so this is. Oh, 
Oh, hi. So the soft is what I used um, when I broke my wrist because when I was writing left-handed, you didn't have to press very hard to get a dark line. So this was like my most enjoyable uh, <laughs> broken wrist pencil. All right, let's see if we can get these kind of close together. So this one's balanced. Like this one just feels so much firmer than the soft, even though it's it's still a pretty soft one itself, so. That feels good, that's a nice one. Why would they have made that awful color if it wouldn't glow in the dark? There's no way. Did you learn to write with your other hand in that time? Oh uh, yeah, I mean, I practiced it for sure. I did a couple of reviews left-handed. So this is 602, which they're just calling firm. Doesn't this one glow in the dark too? Or is it just this color? I don't know that you're gonna be able to tell much here. Let's, let's do like they do it. Yeah, I thought this one glowed in the dark. This one won the vote of the most popular one. Whenever they did that vote, I don't know, was it the first 10 years or whatever? This one won. All right, so extra firm. Yeah, I think this is the best, even though I haven't tried the extra firm. The, the double X firm. It's hard to see any difference between any of these. Why would anyone want to be drawing or writing in the dark? Thank you, Narg. All right, this is a very... That is a real step up from the extra firm. That's a pretty, that's a pretty big jump. It's nice. It's still dark. Extra firm, I think it's better. That's a, pr so soft to balanced is a pretty big jump. Extra firm to double X is a pretty big jump. The three in the middle, there's a little difference. I like the extra firm, the naturals. Even though I do like, I do like like 2H, 3H, maybe 4H. This is probably still like 2H, 3H. But if I was gonna write, I would, I, I, the extra firm is kind of perfect. I think extra firm is still it. 
oh, I brag on all the glow in the dark pens and pencils. It's like, oh man, that's cool. It's like, wait, I very much don't, uh, <laughs> I very much don't write in the dark, but yeah, they always look cool. My O's fan friends are very pleased about the new ownership. That's huge, huge for baseball nerds. You getting a double extra firm? That's what I'm testing. That's why I'm doing this test. Like it's good, but like if, like if I was gonna write, I would still like the extra firm. Like, but for like art, obviously you're gonna get those lines. It's good, but just from like a general writing, I think I like the extra firm. I don't know. That's pretty nice. I was such a 602 fan, and I still am. But the extra firm is just really, really solid. All right, chat. That's my cue. I have a delivery. They just rolled in, and we're kind of at a good stopping point. Um, I need to, gosh, I need to jump. All right. That's it today, chat. We're going to wrap it here. I don't even have time. <laughs> to end the stream nicely. We're going to go. I'm literally walking out the door right now. Hope y'all are having a great day. Have a great rest of y'all day, y'all's day. And uh, I'll see y'all next week. I'll be around on the onlines. Um, oh, wait, it's only Wednesday. I'll be back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. We're going to do ink samples. Toby's working. I got to run. Bye. <laughs>